assessment of the respiratory postural function of the diaphragm. With inspiration, the individual should be able to expand all sections of the abdominal wall while maintaining an upright sitting position and relaxed shoulders. The clinician palpates the area above the groin from the front, comparing the amount of activation and the symmetry. At the same time, we observe movement of the upper abdominal wall section that should expand outwards with inhalation. In many individuals, the upper section of the rectus abdominis predominates, drawing instead of expanding during inhalation. In such a case, we first need to teach the person to relax the upper part of the abdominal muscles before training a proper breathing pattern. Please inhale underneath my thumbs. With inhalation, expand your lower abdominal wall. Direct your inhalation as far as the groin. Please relax the upper part of your abdominal muscles. Expand this part as well. Do not perform abdominal hollowing. To assess solely the postural diaphragm function, the client is asked to exhale and push actively against the clinician's fingers. The expansion should be relatively strong, symmetrical, and without any pathological synkinesis. That is, the chest, pelvis, and spine positions remain neutral. Please breathe out. And now push against my fingers. Stay upright. Try not to draw in the area above the umbilicus. Try to expand the whole abdominal wall outward. From behind, the clinician palpates between and below the lower ribs. Again, with inhalation, both sides should expand and we also watch patient's shoulders, which should optimally remain relaxed. To assess postural diaphragm function, the patient is instructed to exhale. Exhalation brings the diaphragm in a cranial position. And then, the patient is instructed to actively expand the abdominal wall below the lower ribs in all directions. Within this activity, the diaphragm descends caudally as a result of purely postural function and the intra-abdominal pressure increases and the clinician can feel strong and symmetrical activation below their fingers. Please breathe underneath my fingers. Stay upright. Do not raise your shoulders. Breathe in. Breathe out and now actively push against my fingers. The same position can be used for training. The clinician guides the patient manually and verbally.